All right, so look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Let's look at yet another question on the integrating factor concept. Um, okay, so we're given this question here. We have to solve this differential equation. Looking at it here, we can see that this is literally dy dx, that's y prime, plus u of x, y, equal to v of x. So we know we are supposed to use the integrating factor concept. But, but, observe that, okay, first is first. We know that y prime is equal to dy dx. Let's substitute. This becomes x squared plus 9 into y prime. That's dy dx plus x y it's equal to 0. We want to make um, the coefficient of x dy dx to be unity. That means I'll have to divide this or I'll have to divide everything by the coefficient of dx, dy dx. So from here, I'll divide this by x squared plus 9, divide this by x squared plus 9, divide this by x squared plus 9. I'm very intentional about the way you copy your notes. Don't copy your notes as what, as what you're seeing here. In your notes, you should have this, you should have this one first. You now write divide by the coefficient of dy dx. You will now repeat this and then write this. That's how you write your notes, please. If not, it might look confusing. I'm not I'm saying. So in your notes, you're supposed to write this one first. After this, you now write divide through by the coefficient of dy dx. You now repeat this and then write this one there. From here, this cancels this. You have that dy dx it's e plus what I have here is x all over x squared plus 9. It's equal to 0 divided by x squared plus 9. What do you have? Okay, plus, okay, this y, this, and then y, it's equal to 0 divided by x squared plus 9. What do you have? x squared plus 9 divided by 0. What do you have? Huh? 0 divided by x squared plus 9. What do you have? x squared plus 9 divided by 0. What do you have? It's possible to have 0 as the numerator of a fraction. That's okay. It will give you 0 as your answer. But it's not, it's not proper to have a 0 as the denominator of a fraction. In essence, 0 over x squared plus 9 gives you what there? 0. x squared plus 9 over 0 gives you what there? Undefined. Or what there? Infinity. 0. Okay? So from here, we can see our value... From here, we can see a value for what there? U of x. So u of x coefficient of y. So I'll say u of x is equal to the coefficient of y here, which is x all over x squared plus 9. So therefore, the integrating factor if will be equal to exponential the integral of u of x dx. That's equal to that's equal to um, that's equal to exponential integral of this gives you what there x all over x squared plus 9 dx okay so we have this um, how do you solve this what do, what do you have here how do you solve this if you have the integral of x all over s squared plus 9. How do you solve this? Substitution. All right. So here's the thing. Um, here's the thing. Assuming this thing here was 1, would have used what there? Tan inverse. I mean, it would have used tan inverse. But don't worry. If I differentiate this, it will cancel this. Yes. So I'll use what there? Substitution. All right. Of course, the x. Yeah, the x. All right. So, um, first things first, let you, right, let you be equal to denominator x squared plus 9, du dx, differentiate this, du dx is equal to what here? Yeah? 2x. How do you get the x here? 
the x will be equal to these two swap position that becomes du all over what there two x right these two swap position du over two x equal to the x so you have this what's next in here becomes integral of x all over this is u u dot what's the x the x is du all over what there two x this will cancel this you have one here yep you have one over two here We've done this over and over again. So let me save myself the stress. That gives you 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is here. Goes outside. I have 1 over u. Of course, dot du. This will give you 1 over 2. This gives you what there? Lin u. That gives you lin u. And that's equal to 1 over 2 lin what u? x squared plus 9. All right. From here, it means that the integration factor is equal to exponential. This will give you 1 over 2 lean x squared plus 9. That's what you get when you integrate this, as you can see there. So what? Re recall that this one here is standing before a lean. And from the concept of indices, Right, this one can become a par. That's the concept there. So this is equal to exponential. This gives you lean of what there? X squared plus nine. Whenever you have a number before lean, this can serve as a par. So one over two, right? This goes to the par before the lean. That's the concept. And in our previous class, we said if I have exponential lean, anything, it will be called what there? That thing. So in essence, from here, the integration factor is equal to whenever you have exponential lean anything, it will be equal to that thing. I proved this now last class, right? So it's equal to x squared plus 9 to the power there, 1 over 2. This becomes the integrating factor. So we said multiply 2 by the integrating factor. Multiply to by the integrating factor. So in doing that, look up please. I'll multiply this man here by integrating factor. So my integrating factor here is x squared plus 9 to the power 1 over 2. This multiplying the first one I have there, which is the left-hand side of this equation. And that will give you dy dx plus x of x squared plus 9 this into y excuse me this y it's equal to multiply the right hand side by the same thing that's x squared plus 9 into 1 over 2 times the right hand side i have over there zero so you can say this multiply here and here by the same thing now for this part here we know how this will turn up but let me just expand first. Expanding this becomes this and this. It becomes the y dx of x squared plus 9 to the power 1 over 2 plus Give me a sec. Okay, this and this now. What do I have there? Uh, this one first. Let me this one first. That gives you x squared plus 9 to the power 1 all over 2. Multiplying x all over x squared plus 9 dot y. So this times this, it's equal to anything times 0. Gives you what there? 0. Do not stress. I have this. Don't mind this funny looking thing. We all, we all know what this would end up with. This would be what there? The derivative d over dx of what there? y times integrating factor. This y times. So I'll change this to square brackets. I'm using the round brackets. y dot x squared plus 9 to power what there? 1 over 2. So I have this. Right. 
this will be equal to the right hand side zero all right so i'm here what's the next thing here obviously i'm moving the x this way so i have d of um y into x squared plus 9 to power 1 over 2 this 1 over 2 this is equal to 0 times the x so the x times 0 of course this will give you 0 don't stress so I'll just take this off and put 0 to give you 0 at this point now we say integrating integrating integration I have that the integral of d of y into x squared plus 9 to the power 1 over 2 this is equal to the integral of 0 from here we've said that integral cancels differential so we have y into x squared plus 9 to power 1 over 2 is equal to please what's the integral of 0 what's the integral of 0 hmm? what's the integral of 0 0 it's all your full chest Zero. What is what is the graph zero? Zero. What is the integral of zero? What? Please tell them here. What? Constant. When you differentiate the constant, what do you get? When you differentiate the constant, what do you get? You get zero. So why integrate zero? What do you get? So from here, to get the value of y, I will divide both sides by this. All right. So please follow up this method of writing. At this point, you now say, see, this is how you should write this. From here, you now say divide by, divide by in bracket, x squared plus nine to the power one over two. And that to now repeat this, that becomes y into x squared plus 9 to the power 1 over 2 all over x squared plus 9 to the power 1 over 2. It's equal to c all over bracket x squared plus 9 to the power 1 over 2. This will now cancel this. We now have the value for y. So we now have the y it's equal to c all over x squared plus 9 1 over 2. This is square root. So y it's equal to c all over the square root of x squared plus 9. So that's your answer. Basically, this is how we solve this particular question. So that's your solution. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.